us in the opening game of the BKT United Rugby Championship. The honour of raising the curtain for the new nice. URC season falls. Benetton and the Glasgow Warriors. Summer months of hard graft come to fruition now and to be honed and perfected over the next nine months. Glasgow Warriors skipper Kyle Stain captains the side as they get the Franco Smith era underway back in a place he knows well. The honour of kicking off the brand new season. It's fielded by Richie Gray. Now switch the point of attack for Smith. Stepped away from Matthews. It's now Deray with the big looping pass that does lead to the opening score. Watching, watching from the bench for the first half, you know, uh, it, 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 it was a bit rusty. Um, we weren't clinical as, as much as we should have been. Um, and we didn't take our chances, and they definitely took theirs on, on our mistakes. So. We couldn't, we, we struggled to get out of our own 22, we struggled to exit uh, and when you do that consistently and it obviously allows them to build pressure in your, your 22, your area of the pitch where they want to be. A productive pre-season with a victory over Edinburgh and here comes Mendy, he's round his man, he's there for the line, it's the perfect start to the second half for Benetton. Yeah, this last 20 got into the groove, got back to what we're all about and built some phases and in saying that we had opportunities to, to score more tries and we didn't take them so Drew Benetton are a good team, they're well drilled and they stuck to their game plan and we did stick to ours so. Price, Mike Murphy ducking out of the way, the ball goes loose from Turner and there might be a chance to counter here for Nicolo Canone. Across the board we, we weren't where we needed to be to put Benetton under pressure which you know, if you play away in, in Benetton you need to play well. Uh, we didn't. Soft hands of Gray, but it's been intercepted, and this is going to be the perfect finish for Ignacio Mendy and Benetton. The cherry on top of the cake is the bonus point score. Yeah, it was it was it was tough. It was a pretty dark changing room and dark flight back to Glasgow, um, but gave us that hunger to to make sure we come on Monday and right the wrongs and learn from our mistakes. It was too little, too late for Franco Smith and his men on the new coach's first game back. Yeah, there, were, there was a silver lining. Um, three more players added to the Warrior family. Um, just got we couldn't get the job done for them to make sure we, to get their first win for the club. It's obviously not the kind of art we want to do it, but it's great to have three new men joining our club. I'm sure these three, got, three players are going to be better for the experience and they'll go on to have really successful Glasgow um, careers. Someone like Tom Jordan especially, he's been in and around the group for a long period of time now. Um, he's had to be patient, but you know, I thought he gave good account of himself and he's earned the respect of everyone in the group, just the way he's trained, applied himself, um, commitment to get better over a long period of time now. So good to see him get the jersey and I'm sure he'll, um, he'll add to those and, and really give something to the shirt. Yeah, it was a bit of mixed emotions, like obviously playing against Benetton away was an awesome experience and to make my debut was again awesome but coming away from that wasn't the performance we wanted out there and it wasn't what we thought we were going to bring so obviously a high on one end for me personally but as a team uh, we were still hungry after that game and knew we had a lot of work ons to do. It was a big week, um, everyone bought into what Franco's messages were and uh, we just really had to take it upon ourselves um, you know from the last season and our first game 
you know, we couldn't let things slip. Leading up to the Cardiff game, the main message was to be brave and express ourselves. So one of the main strengths for us is sort of getting the ball wide and playing to space and really being an electric team on the ball. Um, and like I say, against Benetton we weren't able to show that, so we just had to keep beating that drum that you know, when we, we get the ball, we come alive, move the ball to space and, and give a go. So that was sort of the main message getting across. We knew Cardiff would be a different beast coming back home and, you know, we really wanted to put out a big performance in front of our home crowd for the first time this year. Um, so, yeah, like you say, they really gave, put faith in all of us to go out and give us another shot. And, you know, it was good, the performance that we ended up giving, so yeah. This is Glasgow's first home match for over six months and after a disruptive pre-season, they're still finding their feet under new boss Franco Smith, who's confident he will get his side going. He's made four changes to the starting We had some things to prove, we had some things to prove to Franco. Um, you know, he's invested a lot of time uh, and energy over the last six to eight weeks um, in trying to change how we think about our style of play and our style of play. So. Um, and we owed it to our supporters, but we owed it to ourselves. Back at home, defend our home. We in their face, we were relentless all night. Now I want to see it. Now it's time to see the character, to see what it means to you to be out in that field. There's hundreds of people in those stands, hundreds of boys that can't be out there with us. Show what it means to wear this jersey today. I thought we started the game pretty well, we had a lot of possession, we, we probably didn't convert as well as we did and then when we went down, but we had that sort of 10 minute period in the yellow card where we scored 21 points um, and Scotland's always amazing when you score here and the place literally is bouncing. Horn to Stafford McDowell. Jordan, Kyle Steen, and now Tui Pelotu. We need to break out of our 22, it needs a cool head, but to finish off, you know, from Seb to Cole, he, like, epitome of, of coolness, but to finish that off at uh, both of them, so uh, very pleasing. Stuff clicked, I mean, we got into our tack shape um, a lot easier and better than we did the week before. Um, we worked hard, we worked hard to reset quickly. The most important thing that clicked uh, was our mindset and to have that ambition to play. Fired a few shots early, didn't work, but we stayed at it. Um, we didn't go into our shells and that's the most important thing. And for us to click, we just need to be out of our shells, uh, playing on the front foot, enjoying our rugby. And um, I think that was the most important thing. Bill has it, determined to stay on his feet. Help coming now from Matt Fagerson. And he can flag, go up the side and run straight at Thomas Williams. Cardiff are a tough team to break down. Uh, defensively, they're one of the strongest teams in the league. Um, so to break them down, you've got to be doing something right. And talking to them afterwards, they just couldn't get near the ball. They couldn't get near us because we moved the ball around so fluidly. So um, they're a good team. And uh, I said we had to be a better team to break them down. Lift the ball over the top of the onrushing defender. And here go Glasgow for another one. I think Tommy and I both had our hands on the ball for the second one. To be fair to Tommy, I said to him, just keep it and I'm just going to hit you forward and then transfer it later. So we'll call it a joint try. Morning, so it's there done, for it's another done. try. As well, we won it with ambition. We won it with the Glasgow way. And, and um, it's a good feeling. There's an ambition, there's an appetite to play a good game. But knowing that we can be better again is, is very pleasing.
personally, but speaking to a lot of other guys, I, I think that's probably the, the most enjoyment we've had in the game for, for certainly the last sort of 18 months. Oh, he's been charged down. Surely another one. And it is for Stafford McDowell. The knock on. And that will bring an end to the try fest at Scotston. It's been a thrilling return for the home side. Glasgow Warriors needed that victory. Whoa! Well, I'm starting. Yeah. <laughs> and then I had to go to Geese for the lyrics, but he told me, so we only going to be. It was Kyle's first song. Uh, he had to ask Ryan what the words were because he didn't know them. But again, it's good. You know, we've got some new guys in this year. We've got obviously Frank was a new coach in here. Um, it's been seven games since we've done it. Um, and again, it's just a, a good way to, you know, show people how much we enjoy playing for this club, what it means to win, what it means to play well and win, uh, and, and how much fun we get out of doing our jobs well. The most important thing for us now is to be able to go away from home against Ospreys and back it up.